Reef DVM is coming at you with kind of a frustrating uh, pontoon scenario. Maybe it's a boating scenario too. Have you guys ever been in this position? So I'm out at my favorite lake, and the lake has kind of a shallow ramp to um, unload off of. There's really nowhere else I can go to get this uh, pontoon off. So um, kind of got to do it this way. I get in as far as I can. Um, I've got the trailer completely submerged up to the um, spare tire, and all I can do is push, push, and push, and push on it. I I'm convinced it's these these carpet bunks they give us. See, in freshwater, these trailers all come with carpet bunks. Uh, I hate it. Um, I had my wife back in more and more and more. I had her kind of try to jerk it out from underneath it. I've just I've dealt with this long enough. I'm I'm kind of done with it. Um, the only bummer is I can't really afford a new trailer, and I don't know how much it would take to finally uh, get it done. But basically, we've been over backing it in the water and trying to yank the trailer out from underneath it, and you know really get the pontoon to float because I just can't get it off these bunks. My solution is simple. Um, I'm going to take some friend's advice. I'm going to take these bunks and I'm going to kind of make them plastic coated. There's a couple different ways you can do it. You can do it with rolls of vinyl. You can do it with rolls of plastic or long pieces of plastic. I found it more affordable to just get these easy slides. I wasn't sure they were going to work. The company said it would, so I, I bought a kit. Actually, I bought like, and it's kit number three. Um, tells you how to launch your boat with ease. I'm real hopeful these would work when I bought them. So, anyways, it comes with um, end caps for the end, and then a whole bunch of them for the middle, and it describes how to put them on, and it says they're pretty simple. Basically, what, what my boat is, is basically two pieces of, of green-treated 2x4 on each set of tubes, not the middle tube, and carpet over the top. So I'm just going to screw these darn devils right over the carpet um, and hope they take away the friction. I'm also hopeful that it'll decrease the amount of carpet and pontoon contact, which never seems to dry out anyways. They do come with uh, stainless steel screws, so that was kind of nice. And they're recessed, so hopefully they'll, they'll last a while. As far as sticking them on, it's really not hard. I uh, took an impact gun, and I screwed them right into the green treat. Um, I just had the pontoon off. It's in the water. Uh, my wife is actually waiting for me. Um, and uh, screw these little devils in place. Uh, I'm real hopeful at this point it's going to work. It, it does take a little bit of time to screw them on because on a pontoon, like I said, you've got two of these carpeted bunks for each of your tubes. In, in this situation, I have a tri-tune, um, but my trailer actually only has two bunks, uh, one for the right, one for the left. The center tube just, just hangs on its own. That little um, piece of paper there with the stripes on it, that's just part of the packaging that I used for the measurement to know how far to space them so they ended up correctly. And I basically went down each bunk and screwed these things in, hopeful that this would solve my problem. This is a really good lake to fish and a really good lake to boat, but unfortunately it's landing um, just is, is kind of shallow. And for a big bunk trailer like this with, with a pontoon, it's, it's difficult. Once I got all these on, um, I was pretty exhausted that day, so we just trailered her back up and called it a day. And then I come back um, uh, again here and, and launch it again on a different day with these in place, and they're dry. So like right now, my trailer is sopping wet too, and I didn't think that would be a good comparison. So here it is that night. We got it all done. All these things are on. Looks great. Again, because it's wet, I didn't think that was a fair comparison. But here I am on a different day. It's completely dry. I'm at the same landing, the same lake, and I'm going to try this again. I'm going to unhook the, the, the strap here. Um, as you can see, she's not in as far. Um, the tire is not touching the water. Um, the bunks are in, but not a ton. And here I go. I'm just going to start to push. And believe it or not, it comes enough that all I got to do is just kind of wave my wife on and off we go which is kind of nice for me. This is the first time in a year that I've been able to put this boat in with literally holding it back with one hand 
and I'm pushing a little with the other hand to get this off the trailer in this landing. I, I, I'm impressed. I, I really am. To be able to drop this off was fantastic. I didn't take a video because I came in at night of us loading it back up, but it loaded up easier too. The winch just just played with getting this big beast up it. It was so much easier than the carpet. If you got carpeted bunks, folks, and you want to make loading and unloading your boat easier, really look into this product. I think it'll help. Thanks for watching, folks. Please like and subscribe, and we'll keep putting out great videos like this.